for that update there is we have now continuing coverage of the Ray Tensi murder trial. He is the former University of Cincinnati police officer charged in the shooting death of Sam DeBose in July of last year. Jury deliberations will continue this morning here at the courthouse when the jury returns at 8 a.m. And that is when we will get the very latest that is going on here as they're trying to reach a verdict. So joining me now is an individual that's been in the courtroom the entire trial from this standpoint. You're in the courtroom yesterday, not much going on. It's not on your side's Ali Kramer. What was it that the jury asked for to help them today? So it's interesting. They went eight hours yesterday, and now they want a readback of the testimony from those use of force experts. There was one from both sides, both very lengthy. So it could be a long process if the court reporter or even the, the jury bailiff is going to be reading that all back to them starting this morning at 8 o'clock. And those use of force experts, the first one was for the prosecution, Scott Hogue, and he testified last Friday. Hogue considers himself a professional witness and compared Tenzing's statement to police and to that body cam footage. Now, he testified that Tenzing should not have reached into Debose, into Debose's car and that Tenzing was not dragged, ultimately telling jurors that his use of force was not justified. Now, the defense's use of force expert said just the opposite. It was 33-year police veteran James Scanlon, and he told jurors that his that Tenzing's arm was caught up in the car and that DeBose's actions of turning on that car and quote mashing the accelerator made Tenzing in fear for his life. Now news that jurors did not have a verdict yesterday afternoon was a blow to the DeBose family members. They say as the hours pass they are less convinced that he will be convicted of murder. It's hurting my heart because I, I truly feel that the longer they take the, the more innocent they're trying to prove them. You know so it's hurting me. It's hurting not only me but my entire family. Now, we spoke to legal experts, Chris, and they say they're not surprised that this is taking a long time for jurors to deliberate. And obviously, the hardest part of it is that the family, the attorneys, they have no control over what's going on right now. Well, the legal experts that we spoke to have said, let's make sure that the jury gets it right. And it appears that's what's happening yes. in this case. Coming up at 530, we'll hear more from some of the demonstrators, which at one point yesterday did include the, some of the members from the DeBose family. Exactly. All right. So, Catherine, that's all we have from the courthouse. We toss it back to you in the studio. All right.